Ian Fleming's 007 spy series is going to be modernised in order to protect readers' sensitivity. Philip Dewhurst, the president of James Bond fan club, said, this feels like the latest in a long line of extreme overreactions to an issue nobody asked to be solved. Apparently, in the new version of Live and Let Die, a scene in a New York club is altered to remove a strip tease reference. Uh, the original version says this, written in 1954, Bond could hear the audience panting and grunting like pigs at the trough. The new one says, Bond could sense the electric tension in the room. I mean, come on. Do me a favour. Let's talk uh, to Tom Pickup, who's the host of Really 007, the podcast. Tom, a very good uh, afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Mike. Sorry. Uh, that's OK. <laughs> um, I mean, we had Roald Dahl last week. Thought that was bad enough. I mean, seriously, they're not going to rewrite James Bond. I mean, people know who James Bond is. They know what he does. They know what he likes to do. I mean, for heaven's sake, what's going on? Well, first of all, it's the 70th anniversary of the first Fleming book, so... The cynic might say this is quite a good publicity drive <laughs> yes. uh, to get people to to buy the books. Well, I think yeah. Personally, yeah, personally, I don't I don't think it's a good idea rewriting history because this novel was written. They were written in the fifties and the sixties. You know, to go back and edit things is a bit dodgy. Yes. What I think I would should be done is you can have a disclaimer saying, you know, that this this uh, book was written in that time where attitudes were different. Uh, and and it is offensive. There are really offensive things in there. You know, if you go back, some of the language used is bad, but it shouldn't be changed. It, sh it should be a warning there to sort of right. say this is bad. Well, surely and, people and must know that. But don't people know that if something's written in 1954, uh, it actually might not be something that they would be used to reading? Yeah, and it, it wouldn't get published in that format now. And I think because obviously Ian Fleming's dead. He can't give his permission. And the estate must have had some say in this, of course. Well, this is the thing. Is this what happened last week when I discovered with, with the Roald Dahl situation, the, the copyright actually belongs to Netflix now because the family estate sold the copyright to Netflix. So they said that basically they can't stop it. Yeah, and, and that's that's become muddies the waters more. But I, I don't think it's necessarily anything dreadful to worry about. You could say it is a bit 1984 slippery slope. Yeah. But certain things like the chapter, I think one chapter heading had a really, really offensive word that I can't possibly say. Hmm. So that does need to be changed. But also, they haven't removed certain things like the certain homophobic language. That's remained. Right. So th there does seem to be some very, very odd goings on. And I think it's easy to sort of get distracted into this woke argument where a simple disclaimer would have been fine. But like yep. I say, we're talking about it now, and people are getting offended, I think. <laughs> Well, it's not that we're getting offended. I think we're all just shrugging our shoulders and going, you know, what's going to happen next? Because obviously one of the questions that, that I'm going to ask you about is the movies themselves, because, you know, as far as we know, Daniel Craig is not going to be James Bond anymore. We don't know whether there's going to be another James Bond, if there's going to be just a 007. Is it going to be a woman? Uh, is it going to be somebody that uh, would be a surprise um, encounter? You know, and are they going to... Because they tried to make Daniel Craig quite woke in his first movie, I remember. They made him sort of much more female-friendly, didn't they? They made him less of a kind of, you know, brute, less of a, a, a sort of a sexist, if you like. Um, but they kind of moved away from that again by the, by, by the last film that he did, because it was kind of back to normal almost. Yeah, the, that happens, and I think the Bond films reflect the times they're in. Mm. And often, you know, through the 60s and the 70s, into the 80s, some people go back at those films and think that Bond's behaviour was inappropriate, but we've looked at them, you know, so much, and you actually think that some of the characters in the 60s were just as progressive, if not more progressive, than some of the ones that have been in the Daniel Craig era. So there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of chat about this. It will be, there will be a new Bond announced. I just hope it's as soon as possible. Uh, I do think it will be a man. And I think as soon as that's announced, we're going to get very excited and we'll have more Bond films to discuss, hopefully.